Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to Amazed by the Quran, a series in which I love talking to you guys about what I love or find amazing about the Quran. Today I want to share something with you from Surah Al Hajj, the 22nd surah of the Quran, and this is about the use of the passive. Um, we're going to see a verb that occurs in the active form, and then we're going to see it in the passive form. Let me say that in plain English then. They called someone a liar. They called Nuh a liar. They called Ibrahim a liar. They called Lut a liar, etc., etc. That's active because who called them a liar? They did. Their nations did. If you say <coughs> Musa was called a liar, that's passive. Musa was called a liar. In other words, you're not saying who called him a liar. You, you follow? So now what, what you're going to get is wa in yukadhibuka if they're going to call you a liar the prophet's told faqad kadhabat qablahum qaum nuh wa ad wa thamud wa qaum ibrahim wa qaum lut wa ashab madyan long list if they're going to call you a liar then before you the nation of lut the nation of ad the nation of thamud the nation of ibrahim and the nation of lut called them liars too they also considered that a lie so the, who, who's the doer of all of, and by the way, the people of Madian also did the same. So all of them, who's the one calling someone a liar? The nation is. The nation does the act of calling them a liar. And all of a sudden at the end of the ayah, وَكُذِّبَ Musa, And Musa was called a liar. It switches. Their nations called them a liar. Who, who are them? Nuh, the prophet, you know, Hud, Salih, Ibrahim, Lut, Shu'aib. Long list. Their nations called them a liar, and Musa was called a liar. So it's weird because you're expecting, and his nation called Musa a liar too. Like you want to incriminate the nation. But the Quran is so subtle in its depiction of history. Musa's people are the Israelites. They didn't call him a liar. The Pharaoh called him a liar, and the Pharaoh's people called him a liar. That are not his people. So he was called a liar, but not by his nation. So it switches immediately <laughs> to capture the accurate you know, account of history that his own people actually accepted him as a prophet, gave him a hard time anyway, but they didn't call him a liar. Pharaoh did. Those people did. SubhanAllah. Just the way in which these switches happen in the Quran, they're not just for grammatical reasons, but to capture such powerful historical you know, nuance. And to be careful about that as you're in the middle of a sentence in a list of all these prophets, this one, this one, this one, this one. And by the way, Musa, no, not his people didn't lie. He was lied against. He was called a liar. SubhanAllah. May Allah Azza wa Jal help us appreciate the perfection of the Book of Allah. Barakallahu li wa lakum. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. If you enjoyed this video, please do share it with friends and family. If you want to see more videos from this series, click on the box at the top. If you want to see other videos, click on the box at the bottom. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thanks.